Hello, LSBI. I hope everyone had a relaxing break. It's time to get back into the swing of things. I know many of you have already heard that we will not be going back to our school building for the rest of the year. Even though we won't be going back to campus, our learning will continue. Your teachers have been busy finding ways to continue teaching you for the rest of the school year. We want to make sure our learning continues so we're ready to start school next year. Please remember to check your Google Classrooms, emails, participate in Zoom opportunities, and read every day so we can keep making progress towards our goals. If you have any questions about your schedule, classes, or grades, please email Ms. Hansel. This week, we would like to give a shout out to our seniors. A big congratulations to Andrea, Allie, Devin, Gavin, Chloe, and Tara Lynn. We are so proud of all the hard work you've put forth during your time in school, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for each of you. We are also working on some fun ideas to celebrate you, and we'll be sharing those with you soon. Before the break, we shared some fun ideas of things you can do at home to stay busy during the week. We have Ms. Covington with us today to share some more fun ideas for the week. Ms. Covington here. Just wanted to say hello, and I wanted to share five things that I plan to do this week and that you can do too. My number one thing is I want to try to move every day. I'm going to either get outside or I'm gonna take a walk or I'm going to dance to my favorite music, but I'm gonna to try to do some movement every single day this week. My number two thing is I'm going to try a new food. I'm going to look at a recipe maybe. Um, you could ask mom and dad if you can try a new recipe. Trying new food is fun. Number three, I'm going to listen to a podcast. Podcasts are free. I'm going to find something I'm interested in and I'm going to listen to it and see what I can find out. I might find out something totally new. Number four, ha ha ha, I've got a good one for you. Write an email to your teacher. Your teachers miss you. They'd love to know what you're doing and it will sharpen your email skills. If you don't have an email address, tell mom and dad what you'd like to write and have them write your teacher the email. Your teachers would love to hear from you. And number five, this one's my absolute favorite, and I am definitely, definitely, definitely doing this. I heard that it's really fun to write what you think your future self will be like in five years. So, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but in five years, hmm, I'm going to be 59 years old. So, I wonder what I'm going to look like. I wonder who my friends are going to be. I wonder how I am going to feel. I wonder what are some words that I could describe myself in five years from now. I think that's something we should do. It will be totally fun. And then guess what? In five years, am I, am I there? Did I do it? I'm going to write it down and I'm going to check it out in five years. Those are just five things that you could do this week to have a little fun. Those are the things I'm gonna do. See you soon, bye. Those are some great ideas Ms. Covington shared and we hope everyone has fun trying some of them out during the week. We miss you all and can't wait to get back to school. Keep working hard over the next few weeks. Even though we're not together on campus, we are here for you if you need anything. Please continue to follow all the recommendations for staying safe and healthy. We can't wait to see everyone soon. Have a great week.